Hey, this is James at Panamorph, and today we're going to take a look at this new full spectrum laser we just acquired. So let's hop right into it. The laser we were able to purchase was a full spectrum H series 5th generation 40 watt CO2 laser. We got this laser for a really good deal because currently the controller board doesn't work on it. We'll be repairing that in a future video. If you're not familiar with laser cutters, this one's what's known as a CO2 laser. They typically have more power than diode lasers, which are usually found in laser pointers. The CO2 lasers can usually cut through woods, plastics, and sometimes metals. The basic components to make the CO2 laser work are a laser tube, the mirrors to direct the beam, and a lens to focus the beam. The laser is able to cut anywhere that the gantry can move. In our case, this is a 20 by 12 bed that you can see on the screen now. Now with any laser cutter, you'll have to cool the actual laser tube so it doesn't overheat. This one uses water along with all of the K40 style lasers. You can see on the back here the inlet and outlet for the water pump or chiller if you use that. Along with cooling the laser tube, you want to keep debris out of the way of the lens so that the laser can actually cut through the material you're trying to cut. So this laser has what's known as an air assist, which just blows air right in front of the lens to keep debris out of the way. On the back here is where we have a port where we inlet the air from the air pump. The final thing you need is a way to remove the smoke and fumes that comes from burning anything on the laser. Our laser has an output flange that you could install a 4 inch vent fan or filter that actually just scrubs the air and puts it back into the room. The main reason we purchased this laser is because it's a significant upgrade to the K40 laser we currently run. Just listen to the difference alone in the motion axis. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or ideas for new videos put them in the comment section below and have a good day.